think folks can get down to what we're really here about today. We have the following facts which I'll find. That secure creditors, Sutter's Bank, Nash Finch, both presented these sales. That sale, I believe, from the arguments I've heard, was done in a manner to expose the assets for sale to a large amount of protected buyers. Uh, prior to that sale, there had been an attempt um, to sell stores without 128. That was through the Good Partners Group, uh, who unfolded a very controversial of that, did a very good job of trying to sell those um, stores. Uh, they offered proof, I'll take it as that, supported that they were sold uh, at a price that preserved the going concern, that was the benefit of keeping the stores open. I will note, Mr. Schroeder, you weren't here last time, but Exhibit 2 offered at that time showed uh, the uh, cash flow being a significant uh, negative uh, per month. Uh, and uh, I think it was appropriate to stop the bleeding and sell these stores. Uh, here the court, from all that we've heard both today and last time, the numerous claims I've examined, uh, the review of Olson Mill, which both have cited as being kind of a landmark. Uh, I'm going to approve the sales in all respects. I'm going to uh, order the disbursement of the proceeds to secure creditors. Now, there's a, some conditions that order. Uh, the Rice Lake store, uh, there's some very, very yet about the SBA debt, and that's got to be uh, ascertained before we can uh, make that final, Mr. Polsky. Yes, sir. And likewise, I'm, I'm not sure what the local position is on the fixtures versus personal property at the Hamilton store. Um, but there's an there's a issue with that as well. That store is not open, so I'm not sure it matters a lot for us today, but I'm going to approve the sales as far as I can. Now.